What up everybody, welcome to the first vlog of Red Rock season 2023 slash 24. Today we're heading into First Creek Canyon. It's nice and cloudy today. Mountains look beautiful. The desert looks beautiful with all the greenery. And we're with quite a few crushers today. We've got JP, Johnny, Ricky, uh, Sarah behind me. <laughs> Hi Sarah. <laughs> and me, kind of a poser crusher. That's why I'm growing this mustache out. Can't really project V14s like these guys. We are just now coming up onto the Trieste V14 boulder. It's a very hard project that I'm sure you've seen some videos pro climbers try. So check this out. That's it right there. So yeah, today we're just gonna do a little bit of vlogging. I'm gonna try to capture the beauty of the desert. And we're gonna talk to these V14 climbers and see if they could give us any tricks and tips. This is gonna be fun. Check it. What's up, dude? What's going on, man? What's up, Ricky? What up? Kai Whaley. What up? I forgot to mention you in the intro, dude, but what the you're heck? here, right? I'm it's because you're so young, dude. We forget about you. Hey, man. So, JP. So, so young. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. How much pounds do we Hold on. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Goodness gracious, <laughs> Come on. Yo, so I'm here with Kai. Sorry I forgot to introduce you, bro. Oh my goodness. But you got your own sessions episode and everything. Yeah, I'm here. And you're working Trieste V14 today? Yep. Can you vlog us through the freaking climb, Let's dude? Let's do it. You really know what's up on what's this, What's up, right? guys? All right, so Trieste, it was a stand and a sit, but now in the new book, they've changed it. So the sits, or the stand's not in the book. Sit start, start on this rail. Here and here, get a heel. Bad crimp, okay crimp. Go into this gnarly little guy, look at that. Dive into this guy. Then you get some cool feet, a lot of tension. Big move up to this. This is the first move of the stand start from this crimp and this crimp. And then really hard bike move right here. Foot, toe hook down there. A lot of tension, come in, horrible hold. Move up, tick, tick, move fast. You kind of do a little pounce. You go like, uh, uh. Really hard foot move right here. Probably one of the hardest moves on the climb is taking your foot off of the bike and just moving it to right there. Whole lot of course. I can't do it sometimes. Then you snap, slot right there. Whole lot of tension. You kind of go, uh, like that. And then multiple betas here. I have my foot on this and then I walk it through Get a heel right here, drop it down, and then you stab up into that knob. Probably the worst hold on the climb besides the bump hold, but you barely touch that one. And then we got massive jump to finish it. You go from there and there. Dino to this, big swing. Woo, yay, super cool. And then you have pop out slab, if you can see that well. Yeah. Pretty scary. Pretty Dude, so scary. how's how's the slab? Is it scary up there? It is scary up there. I get scared up there sometimes, but I like slab, so yeah. it's okay. If I'm gonna send it, I might want to do the slab again because I haven't done it in like two years. So Kai, what's the hardest part for you today, dude? Ooh, the hardest part is going to the knob. That's the main move. The right hand bump from what's what's so slot. fucked up about it? That hole just sucks and yeah. you're going to it dynamic, so it's like hitting it good and having the body tension to hold it right. is really hard. So when you did stick it, like what was, you know, the magic sauce? Mm, well, when I stuck it, my heel popped on my ground burn. So that was like the main thing. Yeah. If you get good tension, then everything stays on and then you can hit this hold good. Yeah. And you just, it's a lot, this kind of a lot of squeezing. You can't really breathe, which okay. is the main problem. Right. So. Dude. Thank you for the walkthrough, dude. Walk through every hold on this climb. Yeah, I think you're gonna get it today and we're gonna be here to document the whole process. I'll try my darndest. Uh, what are the odds I'll flash it? Ooh, like 11 out of 10 maybe? Oh shit, <laughs> sick dude. All right, let's see what happens there today. There we guys. go, let's we'll do try it. our best. <laughs> Check, check, mic check. Apologies in advance for the clickbaity title. 
Obviously this problem is hard and I really have no idea how these guys were bringing a foot up let alone getting a bicycle off of those terrible holds. The big takeaway that I got this day was that it's really hard to breathe while you're climbing this thing. The steepness, the tension required, you're just squeezing with all your might the whole time and it's really hard to take breaths. I'm very very lucky to watch and learn from these strong crushers though, especially the ones closer to my age like JP and Johnny. JP's looking insanely strong this season and Johnny is as determined as ever to send this thing. God, I fucking just, I, I twist out. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, JP he just bought a new wow. camera, so make sure you're subscribed to his YouTube because he's going to be uploading some cool shit. <laughs> Let's go. And then we have Kai over here who there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to send this thing this season. And Ricky looking strong as ever. He's climbed V13s outside. He had a really strong season in Colorado this summer. And yeah, it's just cool to watch him make moves on this thing. Nice, Ricky. But yeah, Kai, every day that I look at his Instagram stories, he's sending some new V10 or some V11 on the mood board. It's just so freaking sick seeing him climb this thing. It's, it's going down. Yo, and for those of you looking for a new drone, the new Mini 4 Pro is pretty awesome. I've been flying drones for the last seven years or so, but this is my first time flying such a little drone, 249 grams, and let me tell you, I'll take a tiny drone over a bigger drone any day. The one over 1.3 inch sensor on this produces an incredibly sharp picture, and it's the first Mini drone to shoot log footage, which is way easier to color grade than that old D cine like profile on the older drones. Um, yeah, super good drone. It was also extremely windy at Red Rock this day, and this thing was flying like a champ, so highly recommend. We closed out the session trying this V8 next to Trieste. Uh, Kai showed us the way and ran a couple of laps on it. The top slab looks a little sketch, but like he said, he loves slab. And it took some time to figure out how to hit Come some on, of these dude. weird holds on, correctly, on, but after we yeah, figured yeah. it out, we were all giving it some burns. Yeah. yeah. Hold it, hold it, hold oh. it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Come on. Come on. Go big. Go big. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Stay tight. Stay tight. Come on. You got it. The next time I'm out here with the crushers, it'll definitely go. I got the muscle memory down now, and next time I'll get better tension through my left foot. But yeah, I'm just super stoked to make some more outdoor videos, and I hope you guys stay tuned this season. Oh, no! Come on. Get it over. Everything, everything, everything. Get it over. Keep going, keep going. Come on. Oh. All right, dude, Hold next back. time you come to Trieste, do you send Trieste? I send this Team boy. send. Thanks for being here, Kai. Amazing. We'll get you on the next one, and then uh, we're, we're gonna make you famous, dude. You wanna be famous? I'm gonna go viral. <laughs> Well guys, we had a great time out here at Trieste today. Everybody did pretty good, made really good progress. I fell at the crux from the stand start. Amazing links. Everybody did good, everybody was strong. Go team. Like, subscribe, follow us off climbing. Bye. <laughs>